Hello everyone, my name is Dong Yuan. I'm a PhD student in bioinformatics from UCLA. Today I'm going to introduce Sutam DE, which is our newest statistical method for the inference of differential gene expression along cell through time from single cell RNA sequencing data set. So as you may know, nowadays through time analysis is one of the most important analysis for single cell data. People often want to use through time to infer the underlying continuous cell state changes. And after get the through time, people often want to identify the differentially expressed genes. Therefore, we propose through time DE, a DE method that can adopt to various through time inference methods. And it can account for through time inference uncertainty and output well calibrated p values. First, we want to introduce our method. So here is the original data set of single cells. We perform the through time inference to infer the continuous through time. And after that, we perform negative binomial or zero negative, negative binomial generalized LTE model uh, to get the gene curves along through time. And we calculate, calculate the test statistics SJ. In order to capture the uncertainty of the through time, we use the subsampling of the original data set and we perform through time inference within each subsample. And after that, we permute the cells and we fit the NB or ZINB GAM model to get the non distribution of the test statistic. And after that, we can calculate the p value for each individual gene. First, we want to show the results of the ignored through time in nowadays analysis. Here, AMC are uh, so in first through time from two different uh, methods. And the BMD shows the subsample through time of each data set. We can see those subsample through time kind of randomly distributed along the zero to one range. Therefore, we call this through time uncertainty as the linear uncertainty. The second layer of uncertainty is the topology uncertainty. So in the original data set, we can infer a bifurcation topology. But when we use the subsamples, 10 random subsamples, we observe four of them show different topologies compared to the original data set. We call this uncertainty as topology uncertainty. Note that in our statistical model, we only consider the linear uncertainty because we require that the topology uncertainty should be fixed before perform the through time DE method. We first benchmark our method against the other single cell DE methods or bulk RNA-seq DE methods with two different through time inference methods on simulation data sets. First, we show that our p-values are much better well calibrated. So we can say compared to all the other methods, only through time DE show very uniformly distributed p-values under the null. And also we can see our methods show the best FDR control compared to other methods under the 0.05 nominal level, and also the highest power compared to other methods. We perform our method on five different uh, real data sets, but we can only introduce two here. So the first data set is a um, dendritic cell stimulated with LPS. And we can see some other methods, their p values show by model distribution, which means that their p values are not well uh, are not uniformly distributed under the norm. And also when we compare the DE genes, we can see the through time specific DE genes show much more number of enriched go terms compared to other methods. And when we check those go terms carefully, we can identify a lot of go terms which are directly related to the underlying immune process. And the second data set, 
we try to use uh, SUTIME D to identify the cell cycle related genes. Uh, in this data set, we have the true cell cycle related genes and we use their permutation as the non cases. And we can see only SUTIME D can generate well calibrated p values under the norm. And also, when we compare the p values under the alternative, we can see they show a very strong correlation with the true DE signal, which are estimated by uh, extra experiments in the original paper. And also, sometimes DE shows the highest, uh, best FDR control and the highest power. In conclusion, we propose the statistical mask sometimes DE to identify the DE genes along inferred sometimes. So our method focuses on the well calibrated p values and uh, try to incorporate the uncertainty of the inferred through time. So the R package through time D is available at GitHub. And uh, here is a reference of our paper, which was published on general biology. Thank you for listening today, and we are very welcome to any questions or comments.